Coach, first overtime of the season for this team, what can be learned from that experience tonight, that first? You know, there's a lot to learn uh, from this game, but I want to first say that, you know, we talked about playing loose, keep fighting um, for 40 minutes, didn't know it would go into overtime, but I thought they sold out uh, defensively. Um, but, you know, in the overtime, you know, we gave up an offensive rebound, the easy drive uh, down the middle, um, you know, have turnover. So we just have to be um, more solid, uh, but we can go back and, and fix all of those things. Coach, obviously you'd like to get the win there, but you took a team that just upset LSU to overtime. I mean, of course, despite the loss, how much did you really like your team's resiliency tonight? Well, I love their fight, and that's what they needed. And we talked about uh, staying together. Um, we only had each other, and I thought they fought and sold out. Obviously, disappointing. You want to win. Uh, that's the name of the game. Um, and so their spirits are really down right now, and rightfully so, because they're competitors. Uh, we did a lot of good things. Um, you know, we got to be able to finish, uh, finish out. But um, we did grow up in this game, and that's what we needed. Obviously, we want to grow up and get the win. Um, but you, you got to live, learn, and we got to continue to be uh, resilient. Coach, multiple times this season you've gone to Anaya when you need a bucket down the stretch. What do you like in her so much that she uh, as an option down the stretch? Yeah, I thought Anaya Russell uh, stepped up for us big offensively. She made some great defensive plays as well. Uh, but just her size and athleticism, her ability to finish uh, around the rim with contact, um, you know, she can make moves in short spaces, um, and she's a real mismatch problem. And uh, she delivered once again. So uh, very proud of her um, and the team for executing um, down the stretch. Uh, even the last play, to draw that up and come out, you know, at the end of the day, you want to be able to get looks, to get the shot off. Uh, we were able to get uh, two of those. Unfortunately, they didn't go in. Coach, on Sunday you talked about how you wanted to see that you know, defensive intensity. You've already said you liked what you saw tonight. What specifically stood out to you in that performance? You know, I thought we did better in the ball screen coverage. Uh, we communicated, um, which was what I wanted to see. Um, also, our help, the helper, I thought we rotated, slid over, took some charges, got some deflections, helped outside the paint. Uh, and dropped um, and made people score over us um, instead of around. I thought we were way more disciplined um, tonight as far as not just uh, swiping down. We started before the game. I told them instead of your arms going down, let's practice your arms going up. And I thought that was uh, helpful for us. Coach, you mentioned about taking charge. It seems to me the game was really physical. Did you see it as a real physical battle out there? Yeah, it's real physical. Um, you know, Mississippi State, they're athletic, they're physical, they play fast. Um, obviously, Jessica Carter is a handful. Um, but I thought, you know, we battled. I thought we matched their physicality. Um, you know, in this league, one or two possessions down the stretch, uh, whether you miss an offensive rebound or a free throw, it can cost you um, down the stretch. And unfortunately, um, tonight we're on the wrong side, but we'll – um, like I said, keep battling, go back to the drawing board and learn from it. Okay. Hey, Coach, I just wanted to ask, I asked the opposing coach down the stretch in regulation, we had a lead. They hit some threes in the corner. Um, the same girl it seemed like in that late in the game. And I just wanted to get your thoughts on the defensive strategy down the stretch there and what happened. Yeah, we over-rotated um, our defense, which took us out of position, um, which gave us uh, the op one open three in the corner. And then the second one we were reaching um, didn't rotate. You know, the defensive strategy, um, you know, was, um, you know, defend the three-point line. We didn't want to give up open threes, obviously. Um, we had the lead. Um, we had fouls to give. We said if they, you know, we drive the ball, we could foul on the floor, don't foul on the shot. But when you over-rotate your defense and you have an open three, you, you're not going to foul it. Um, so, you know, we got to be more solid. Just keep us, keep them in front, um, defend the three-point line. If anything, we have to make them put the ball down um, and lay it up where twos are better than threes. Um, but, you know. 
that, that's where we'll learn uh, and grow. And um, shout out to my team for battling and, you know, in, in regulation, um, you know, I just told them we'll, you know, we'll learn from this. Coach, in your eyes, what was different in that second half that really allowed you to take control and, and take the momentum? You know, it was good to see us come out and be aggressive in the third quarter. Um, that's used, that has been our nemesis this year. Um, but really see us punch. I thought we fed off our defensive energy. I thought we attacked, played downhill, um, moved the basketball. We hit some open shots, so it was good to see the ball uh, go in. And uh, we won some 50-50 balls um, there. So a uh, good third quarter for us where um, we hadn't been playing well in the third.